Yo, what's going on guys? We're back again with another tutorial and in this video I'll be showing you guys how to achieve this cool 3 effect using Final Cut Pro 10 without any plugins. Let's go! So you already have your two clips that you'll be working on in your timeline. This is the first clip and then the second clip that will be transitioned into. So with the first clip, go to the first frame and then go 10 frames from there. Then over there, you go straight to transform, change the scale to 80%. Scroll down, go to the crop side, and then with the left, change left to 600 by typing in 600, and then write 600. So you already have something like this. Then go to your generators, then go under solids, choose custom, drag it down here. Then click on custom, go to this side, and then change the color to white. Let's close this. So now you have something like this. So with this, go 10 frames forward or 15. Then over there, this is what you do. You make a cut of one frame from the custom that we just dragged down there. So let's just cut one frame from this side, one frame you cut, one frame you cut. Now after cutting each, this is what you do. Delete one frame, each other frame, just like this. We select them and then later on we'll delete them. I think to this side will be okay. We can now delete this one. So now this is what you'll be having kind of gives you this flicker effect. Now to make this effect really solid, go the same place with a solid, you choose custom, you drag it to this side. It, and then make a cut on this side where the transition will end. Let's delete this. And then cut this side to, and delete that. With the black solids that we just dropped on the top video, this is what you do with it. You go under opacity, make a keyframe there, and then go to the last frame, make another keyframe there. And this is what you do. Go back to the first keyframe that you made, turn it to zero. So now you have something like this. It goes from zero and then later on goes to 100, which makes the video black. And then drag the second clip that you'll be transitioned into, drag it to this side, copy settings that we did from this video, and then we paste it, the same settings to the second video. Now let's wait for it to render and see how it looks like. So there you go guys, now let's go straight to the second effect. With the second effect, this is what you do. Click on first clip, go to the transform side, change the scale to 60%. Then scroll down, go under crop. With the left side, we type in 600, just like the first effect. Then right side, we type in 600. Then go to solids under your generators and then choose custom, drag it under the clip. On custom, go to this side, then click on color. And then over here, this is what you do, drag it to the white side. Then you can select any color you want. And with the intro, it was yellow, but this time around with this tutorial, let's just change it to red. Let's make a cut here and cut this side. Now you'll be having something like this and then you can copy the settings from this clip and then we'll paste it on this clip now let's wait for it to render and see how it looks like so there you go guys with the second effect now let's jump straight to the third 
effect. With the third effect, you go to the clip that you'll be working on, click on it, go to your effect section, then go to distortion and select earthquake, drag and drop it on the clip that we'll be working on. Let's close this side. So now go to the first frame, make a keyframe on uh, amount, layers, and the last one. Then go 10 or five frames forward. With, the, with this tutorial, we'll go 10 frames forward. Make another keyframe there. Now go back to the first keyframe that you made. Change the amount to zero. And then with the layers, we can change it to one. Now go to the second keyframe that we made. And then from here, you can just play around it to how you want it to look like. I think with this tutorial, we can go somewhere 50. Let's wait for it to render and see how it looks like. you go guys if you really enjoy watching this and really learn something from this today don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell so you can get more awesome videos in the future as always my name is joey stay creative out there peace out